Hey guys, so in my last video I did a modern renaissance look and I really wanted to do a glitter type of like dub or a double cut crease attempt, I don't know. I'm going to play around and do one eye and if it turns out good I'm going to record the rest of the look because I do need to return this palette back to Brittany. She let me borrow it to see if I liked it and I get a lot of requests from friends who own this palette and do not know what to do with it. So. I'm not the best of help, and I'm sure you could find better tutorials out there, but thank you guys for trusting me. I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette and then the NYX Rose Gold Glitter. So let's see what we can make out of this look. I do have a look similar to this up before, sorry, before I had a um, proper lighting system or even good camera. So. Yeah, so I'm going to practice on this side, and then I will let you guys know, obviously, if I if this goes up, something happened. So see you soon. Hey guys, so right now I'm starting off with the base of the Maybelline Instant Adrian Concealer. And I'm going to have all the eyeshadows listed on the screen because I can't pronounce some of them. But I'm going straight in with warm taupe and I'm putting that in my crease and above my crease to just start as a base. And I'm going to pack Love Letter on top of that after I blend out the edges to soften them. Love Letter is mainly because this is going to be a rose gold cut crease and I'd like to have or stick with those pinky tones. I'm going to blend it and then add the darker shade of pink in the palette. This is to make the cut crease a little more dramatic where it starts. Now I'm going to cut my crease and how you do this is find out where your crease is or if you have hooded eyes like me and want to go a little bit above your crease do so and try to do the cleanest line you can. I'm not the best at explaining because I'm new to it but I definitely say you catch on pretty fast so fill that in with the concealer and once you're happy with that I'm setting it with I think it's tempera in the eyeshadow palette because you do not want this to be sticky due to the fact that the eyeshadow might transfer. I'm getting that dark shade again just to frame out the crease and to deepen it so it's more just bam in your face. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna softly blend with nothing on the brush and get that glitter glue. Now I'm doing a very dramatic double cut crease. This isn't like a really slim line. I'm doing like there's going to be a lot of room still. So just put that glue where you want it and wing it out. You could put a color down before putting the glue, but honestly the rose gold pigment is so pigmented itself. So now I'm putting the pigment wherever I set the glue. Really try to keep this clean too, even though it will only stick to the glue, glitter is very messy and will get everywhere. Now I'm just wiping all the glitter off my face and I'm going to stick to my normal face routine. I'll have all the products on the screen so I think I'll just let this go for now. So thank you guys. and. I hope you could understand this tutorial and like this kind of fun little different look that would be good for maybe Halloween like a fairy or something like that. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon.
Hey guys, so this is a look I came up with. It's like a huge like double cut crease. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very different, very... I feel like I'd wear this if I was a fairy for Halloween. But thank you for watching and I definitely am proud of myself in some ways. But I will have... I am pre-recording a ton of videos because I am getting mouth surgery soon. So... I just want to have some makeup tutorials out there for you, um, scheduled, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this look.